What you're looking at now is a tweet by Dr. Shola Moss uh, regarding Swella Braverman, the Home Secretary, and it's rather racist, it's inflammatory, and it's it's disgusting, but it's okay when the left do it, isn't it? They can carry on like this and be as aggressive and as nasty and as hateful as possible. Now, if you don't know who Dr. Shola Moss Shog Bamimu is, she is a well-known personality who does the rounds on morning television and chat shows and if anyone in Britain gets off I believe on a an interracial conflict and trying to stoke it up I think it's her I think she is out to cause trouble and division and she's getting it and she's getting paid for it she writes books on this stuff articles on this she makes a good living Uh, she's a good grifter out of divisive hatred. She has nothing good to say about Britain or the British people. Never ever. It's always racist this or racist that. A a very, she's a very typical angry victim. So anyway, she tweeted this and she said, and I quote, Suella Braverman, the brown racial gatekeeping executioner of, (laughs) I I can't read this. I I can't even, it's just, I mean, my goodness. It's pathetic, isn't it? Anyway, I'll carry on. You have to laugh, though, haven't you? Executioner of racist Tory policies refuses to accept Met Police as racist. Apparently, institutional racism is politically charged. What arrant anti-woke nonsense. Anti-woke is a good thing. It's never nonsense, because woke, as uh, Donald Trump once said, everything woke turns to shit. And she used the race word four times there. I told you, it's it's someone who uses it to her advantage. Gets off on it. Anyway, she continues. A brown face doing white supremacy, dirty work is nothing new. How disgusting. I mean, end quote, but it's, it's disgusting, isn't it? But she's allowed to do this because she is of a demographic that is very much uh, protected. If a demographic doesn't like another demographic... Judging people on their skin colour, why do they do it to themselves? Why do they do it to each other? In this tweet, Dr. Sholomos blatantly targets Swella Braverman on her skin colour, judges her on her skin colour, and that is fundamentally racist. And I think the term institutional racism is is deeply unfair because it's like a, a blanket accusation upon everyone who works for an organisation that has a few bad apples in it. I will tell you who are institutionally racist. It's people like Dr. Shola Moss. It's people like uh, Yasmin Ali by Brown. These are people who regularly uh, parade on our television screens, calling everyone and the country they live in and make a living from, a comfortable living as well as celebrities, uh, racist and put us down at every turn. And it needs to stop. Because these are the types of people who will stoke up a race war. And then where's that going to lead us exactly? Now, I know the Tories are bad. <laughs> they are. Um, yeah, how can I describe them? They're not doing good for the country. They're completely useless. They are not doing or practising what traditional conservatives have been doing uh, before this lot turned up and took over and turned it into a consocialist party. Basically, that's what they've done. But they're not Nazis. They're not racists. I mean, look at the front bench for heaven's sake. <laughs> um, that's all that needs saying, I think. But we mustn't let people like Dr. Sholomos get away with this. And she must be called out for it every time she does so. So she gets the hint and gets the message. She is wrong. And she should be challenging ideas, rhetoric, ideology, rather than skin colour. So there we go. That's my video. Please let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, until the next time, have a great day. Look after yourselves and Roger Trout.